Welcome back to the basement yard. Me and Danny hanging out today. How you doing? What's up? No, my mic was like dancing a little bit, so I got a little afraid. What do you mean? Oh. You ever remember being in restaurants and you'd have that like chair? Would you go through the rest of the dinner with a chair that wobbled? Or would you ask them like, oh, can you put a deck of cards under here? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have matches? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been in one of those chairs in a restaurant. You've never been in a wiggly chair or had a wiggly table? I've had a, I've had wiggles everywhere, but I haven't, like, in a restaurant? Yeah. I think they take care of their wiggles. I mean, like, at home, like, at my mom's, there was, like, some wiggly shit. Or we had some shit that would come apart at the seams, like... Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you could shake your butt a little bit and you would feel it like move. Just rocking back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete has numerous chairs like that in his apartment. You sit down on anything in there, it's like, I don't know, it could be going down here. It's probably the weight of his penis that throws everything off kilter. It could you know? be that. Everything off his axis. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, my grandma once sat in a chair at my mom's and shattered it. It was fucking hilarious. And she fell down? Yeah, we flamed her. Yeah. Your grandma? My grandma. How like quick was the get up though? Oh, she was on the ground. She was definitely on the ground. How old is she at this point? Old as shit. Damn, dude. White hair. Fuck, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I mean, I was too young to understand. All I knew was like, oh, bitch fell down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, ah, grandma. Okay. Yeah, did everybody else laugh? Oh, we were dying. It was great. It was a whole thing. You know what? But she was like watching the kids. So like if my mom was there, and my, my dad would have beat the shit out of me. Like yeah. literally throw me against the ceiling. Yeah, you can't do uh, that. But they weren't. So it was like, ah, got him. You know? It was like, yo, grandma fell, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yo, come upstairs. One time she farted, and we just let her have it, too. Yeah, that's fine. Fart, you can let her have it. Yeah, I mean, an old lady farts. Like, you don't really get that many opportunities to hear something like that. Yeah, because they're mostly, like, windy at that age. Yeah, there was not a whole lot of, like. There's a lot of. Fluff. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's not a whole lot of butt muscle. Not left. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's like, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma had some sexual ass farts. Yeah, it was kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you ever? Are you afraid to get old? <laughs> yes and no. Like, I don't want to get to the point where it's like shit just falls out of my ass. Oh, that'll happen. <sighs> I think really? that'll happen like sooner than you think. You know. Yeah. You know what it is? It starts off like I feel like once you get like further into your thirties. Yeah. You just have to like wipe randomly. Because you're like, I'm wet, you know? Yeah. I think, like, Louis C.K. did a joke about that, where he's like, my ass is just always wet. Yeah. Like, nah. I feel like that's a real thing. Because there's some times where I'm like, I've eaten really bad, and I drank a lot these past few days, like, and I'll get a random wipe, like, in the middle of the day. And I'm in my 20s. Yeah. So no. in my 30s, when my butt starts, like, letting it go. Yes and no. I mean, I I have had days where I've had to crumple up, like, toilet paper and put it in the crack of my ass. Like... A preemptive, yeah, no, blockage. It was, yeah, like, like, um, no, just like because I had a very wet ass that day, so like I would need something to soak it up because it would make my asshole itchy. Wetness. Yeah, wetness and like wetness makes your ass itchy. Yeah, I dude. dryness makes your ass itchy. No, 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 both, both. I kind of like some like. You like a lubricated ass. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I get feel it. Like a like a like a snake or like a fish. Yeah, like a wet ass. See, I don't like that feeling. So if no, you, I don't really. I'm not I like. I don't prefer it. I'd rather just like a you know a normal. Yeah, like I'll tuck it in there and like clinch. Wait. And like and make. No, I'm not putting it in my asshole. Oh, oh, I'm saying in my ass crack. Oh, okay. But I want my ass crack to hide it because I don't want to like if I'm wearing a tighter pant, I don't want it to look like I have like. Yeah, like a tail. Yeah, like doo doo in my pants. Or that. Yeah. I was thinking more of like a bunny tail or something. We should make like what what were we talking about making like cool diapers for old people? We had a conversation about that? Yeah, remember at my brother's birthday party we were talking about uh like under armor meets like old people shitting their pants. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a little yeah. thicker. A little thicker, a little more stylish. But they're tight. But they're tight. So shit can't fly out of that. No, no, no. And you Why are go- diapers so loose? I know. Poop can slip out of the cracks I over know. there, I think. I yeah. get the absorbency, but like let's get let's keep it let's keep it in there. Yeah. You know? It's like cause my like honestly, like I'm not I'm not afraid to die, really. Like I, in a way I am. I'm saying like when I'm like getting older. Yeah. Like, I'm just more afraid of just living old. Why? Because it's like, you can't move that fast. And then, like, me, you start to forget shit. Yeah, but me like, being... I'm, I'm worried about that type of shit. Like, I'd rather be fucking dead at that point. Me being 27 years old, 
I like to think, and I know this isn't true. I like to think that I won't let that happen. Yeah. Like I'll try to stay in shape as much as I can, but I think no matter what, eventually you're gonna be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like yeah. your, your knees are gonna. Like I don't want to get old enough to the point that if I fall in the shower, it's a death sentence. You drown. No via shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you break your hip and like you're done. Like. Yeah. Or that, like you fall asleep in a bowl of soup. Yes. I don't know how many people die a year from that, but I if think anyone's like three, watching. I think three. People die from soup? People die in their soup all the time. Wow. Not all the time, but you know, some time. That's, that's pretty crazy. People have died in their soup. I think if I'm old, I'm, I'm going to have animals. Animals? Yeah. yeah. Not I w- pets? I would have pets and animals, like actual like service pets, like that, like chickens. They, like do their own eggs so like i don't have to walk to the store all the time i would try to You're have like have a farm yeah i would have like a couple farm animals this is getting interesting now no because i feel like when you get older your kids don't like you you know eventually you become like a liability that's what i'm saying like i want to be the least liability as possible like oh like hey uh danny uh, can you junior go, can you go to the store can you go to the store for me i just walk outside t- yeah. take a couple shit eggs and, and come inside and make an omelet Honestly, my my whole family, especially the women, when they get older, they're just like so independent. Yeah. My not, grand, not like me. I said, I've talked about my grandma. She's a goddamn psycho. Like yeah. she would walk three miles to the supermarket. Yeah. Didn't she like her whole face was hanging off? She's tripped and fell on yeah, the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Meat was hanging from her fucking chin. She's like, no, it's, we're good. Put yeah. a fucking napkin on it. I'm like, Jesus, grandma. Rub some dirt on it. My mom's a psycho too. Like if she hears someone in the house, just, oh, someone, I think someone's downstairs. I'm going to go yeah. down there. It's not like, guys, get out of here. We got it. It's like, let's go check it out. Like, I don't think our era, like, I hate this. I hate this word, but millennials. Yes. I don't think we were born to be old. Whoa. And here's why. Let me delve. Dive? I think delve is the word. That's fine. Let me delve into it. Go ahead. I was going to say dwelve, but I said delve. Yeah, that just sounds like you're trying to say 12. (laughs) Dwelve. I'm dwelve. (laughs) Oh, that's another thing too. But after I'll, I'll bring that up. But like, it's like I like I always used to think about this. Like at one point we're gonna be in our cars with our kids, right, and be like, "Yo, you don't know about this. This is a classic." And it's like, "Throw your hands up in the sky," like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like that song already is like kind of a classic. Yeah. But one t- like our parents showed us like Billy Joel, and like the Beatles, and like classic rock. Shit. Yeah, like we're gonna show our kids that too, because thank God for the internet. But it's like, we're also going to be like, oh, you don't know about this. And yeah. it's going to be like mob deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be weird. Like the generational like thing is going to be weird. And like, as technology goes on and as we evolve as humans, I don't know if we're going to be comfortable with getting old. Like, I think our generation is going to do whatever it can to not get old. Well, there is some thing. Well, first of all, I think that's ridiculous. I just think that's because you're not old yet and you're thinking about it. But you, you adapt. That's what people do. I couldn't picture being like 23. I always thought like, yo, people who are 23 have their life together. And like, yeah. 23 year olds are fucking idiots. Yeah. At least I was. And everyone I knew. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was up there in stupidness. You also don't know exactly what you're doing for the rest of your life at 23. You have a job, maybe mm-hmm. right out of college and you're like still figuring it out, but you could still change your path. It's like, you just think that it's way more complex than it is. Yeah, but like also that, that I understand though. Okay, that, what, what to to your point about us doing everything we can to stay young or whatever. There's actually it's so crazy that you brought this up because we were not planning on talking about this. But there is a thing um, that like rich people are going to start doing that I've like read about. My friend was telling me about. Um, what is this? Where they uh, do like blood transfusions from younger kids. So like a, the fuck? a 19 year old, they'll pay to have their blood put into their body. And apparently that's supposed to keep you like, like anti-aging. Young. Yeah. Like it's like blood doping I or something. I think it's yeah. Like I think, um, what's his name? Peter Thiel or whatever the fuck his name is that like, uh, the businessman or like whatever the fuck he okay. does. Uh, he was the one who came out and said, I'm going to look it up because, but it's literally like, it's like anti-aging shit. It's vampire ish. Yes. It's where you're taking the blood of younger boys and putting it in your body because it like, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. There must be some science behind it. That's that is so like, odd. That's extremely, I, I would not think that people would be willing to go that far. I was thinking more along the line of like diet and pharmaceuticals, not sucking the blood of the young. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to suck it. Well, I mean, in a way, you do, regardless if you use a device or not. You're sucking. 
Yeah, he said on Bloomberg TV in 2014, he explained he was taking uh, HGH pills. Um, I wanted to start that as part of his plan to live 120 years. He wants to be 120 years old. Well, we talked about this. The first person to be 120 years old has been born. How do you know? Already. Because if you look at the statistics, humans are living longer than ever. Yeah, it goes up. So if you think about someone who was born yesterday, Mm -hmm. their probability of living to 120 is, is higher. So I, that's why I believe the first person to live to be like the oldest human being ever has been born. Has been born. All right. Uh, so here's here's what it says. Um, so it's called parabiosis. Okay. Uh, it includes the practice of getting transfusions of blood from a younger person as means of improving improving health and potentially reversing aging. And then there's a quote. I'm looking into par- uh, parabiosis stuff, which I think is really interesting. This is where. They did the young blood into older mice, and they found that a massive reju- rejuvenation effect. Um, so and, yeah, I guess and like it's, testosterone too, or or is it just like you just feel better? Whatever that means, reverse aging. I guess yeah. like you know your your organs and everything just like works a little better. So I guess that would expand your life. Yeah. But okay, isn't that it's a little it's a little ghoulish. I'd say it's gross. Yeah, definitely ghoulish. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's very ghoulish. Yeah, it to is. be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, let me get your blood. And it's, it's very expensive too. It's like eight thousand dollars a session or some shit. How much do you? I wonder how much they pay you to give your blood. I don't know, but if I'm making some successful dude like live longer, first of all, I think I passed. I drink way too much for anyone to want yeah, this blood. Yeah, true. No, definitely no one wants that blood over there. No, not over here. <laughs> My fucking blood's like 50% powdered sugar. <laughs> you don't want that. No, not that the blood pro- over here. Probably not. But yeah. That's um, so strange. Let me ask you oh, this. Oh, Gawker has reported oh. that it received a tip in June claiming that uh, he spends $40,000 per quarter to get infusions of blood from an 18-year-old based on research conducted at Stanford wow. on extending the lives of mice. So if it works in... it seems to be working in mice so that's yeah. why he's like well i'm gonna do it how do you feel about using animals for stuff like that it's a perks of being at the top of the food chain baby that's what it is right yeah like if it's for the greater good you know what i'm saying like it's it's not necessarily for the greater good it's I, I know good. <laughs> i know it's our good it's we, selfish no yeah but that's that's just the way it is i think that's nature i mean at the end of the day you know when people talk about and this is I'm going to get so much shit for this. No, but I'm going to back you up on this. No, because, you know, with animals and shit and people don't really like the way that we treat animals. And I, I don't either. Like yeah. keeping fucking chickens in the dark and like they're shitting all over each other. And yeah. we're eating that is not great. Yeah. But and like hitting them over the head with a bat and saying like they don't feel anything. Right. It's like, like come on. That's a little crazy. Yeah. But I have no problem with, you know, <laughs> it feels weird to say, but like mass murdering animals for to, right. to eat, you yeah. know, because that is just the way it is. Like if you watch the discovery channel, like what do animals do? Like they're chasing a pack. Yeah. And the, the, either the youngest one or the one with the fucked up leg. Right. Dead. Yeah. The strong survive. And, and they leave them. They, they, most yeah. Of the time they're like, they leave fuck them. this guy. Yeah. And it's like this though too, because like people will be like, yo, like, like I've made an attempt to eat less animal products, mm-hmm. but, um, but was that for the animals or for diabetes? <laughs> but like, here's the thing. Yeah. But now, but like, it's turned a little bit into the animals because it's like I don't need to eat red meat like six days a week. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I don't need to constantly be doing that. Right. But if they can grow like an ear for somebody on a mouse, like they do that. Like, they do what? They can generate body parts on mice. Like they don't have an ear, so they make an yeah, ear. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Look it up real quick. I know you don't like looking stuff up, but like, just look up generating organ uh, body parts on mice. Like they they're, they're using that technology. Like if you could generate like if somebody got like an ear or something, you could get it on a mouse. I'm down. I'm down to get that mouse ear. Wait, you want to? You want to what? You like wanna... if say you lost your ear in like a and you want to in the, in a the mouse wars ear? war or something. Yeah. And they could grow you an ear. Yeah, I'll take an ear. I'll take a fucking mouse ear. Well, not a... a not the ear of the actual mouse. Right. A human ear that grew onto the mouse. Yes. 
What the fuck are you talking about? I'll just show you. Let me show you. What you just said is that there's a mouse that grew a human ear on its body, and then we cut it off and put it on me? Yes. What? Yeah, dude. How the fuck can we do that? And ew. That's Look, gross. A human ear is grown on a rat. And there's a picture. There's a picture of a human a human ear on a fucking mouse? Yes. Researchers take key steps towards growing human organs in laboratory. Yeah, okay. but like... Researchers have learned the precursor cells for skeletal muscle actually also gives the neurons, gives to neurons, blood vessels, blood cells, and immune cells. Nobody listening knows what that is. I have no idea what that means. Put, it's okay, neither do we. <laughs> Pushing science one step closer to generating body parts in a laboratory. So basically what they've been doing is they've been running these clinical trials to grow human body parts on animals. But like, like giving a sheep a human arm? Not that's the goal. That's the goal. Why is but that the but, goal? Because they like if people lose their arms in whatever yeah. in war or whatever, they want to be able to. They, if they could generate a human arm that they could attach, they'd want to do that. But why would you grow it on the back of an animal? Because that's the only way they could do it. That's weird. I don't like that. It's a little strange. That's terrible. Yeah. Because you know what's gonna happen? They gotta cut that arm off. Well, yeah, they got to cut the fucking arm off. But not only that, but then eventually animals are just going to be these weird things with random fucking... There's going to be legs hanging off of spiders. Yeah. I can't have that. Well, there are legs hanging off spiders. I'm talking human about legs. human legs. You can't put a human leg on a spider. You would need something to be able to carry it. Maybe one of those spiders in like Australia or something. Those That's true. Big fuckers over there. That's another thing, too. Like, uh, do you, How do you feel about like cosmetics being used on animals? Why are we doing that? Can't you just use it on people? Wait, what? Like, they'll use makeup on animals. To do what? To see, like, if it causes any allergic reactions or, like, shit like that. Wow. They're really getting the shit end of the stick. Yeah, they are. It's fucked up. Jeez. It scares me a little bit to know, yeah. like, you know, it, make, it makes you think, though. But here's the thing. If somebody could tell you that all this stuff that they're doing on animals could help you live an extra 20 years, uh -huh. are you okay with it? Yeah, selfishly, hip, of course. You have to be. Yeah. Anyone who says no, I'm worried about you. Not that I'm worried about you, but like I just don't think you mean it. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, I, I, I am a firm believer in nature and you know what it's intended to be. And like I said, when you watch that fucking channel, you see the, the fucking giraffes are running away from the tigers. And then, I don't even know if those two things live in the same area. I'm just, you know. <laughs> but, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, the, the young one or the one with the fucked up knee is going to get eaten. Yeah. And sometimes they get away, and then the tigers can't eat, and then the, they they die. And right. then, so you feel bad either way. Someone's going down here. And they're also going to compare, like, oh, yeah, but we don't live in the wild like that. Yes, we don't live in the wild anymore. But at some point, we did. But not only that, but it's like we don't live in the wild because we have been at the top and selfish for so long that now this is what we can live in. Right. You know? Yeah. So that's just like, that's just what it is. And it's going to continue. And everyone else below us is just going to, you know, whatever. And I'm not saying like, you know, we're doing it the best way. Like right. I said, we shouldn't be having chickens like that. And like I bore, <laughs> buy organic shit <laughs> yeah. and like free range, like whatever. Like let those chickens get some sun before I eat them. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But... <laughs> You know, that's what it is. I'm sorry. All right, so say your dick got blown off. <laughs> okay. All right. Your dick, dick got blown your dick got blown to high heaven. It's just it, particles. And a dick explosion. Just dick exploded. You were like working uh you were barbecuing, thing blew up, blew your fucking cock off. Okay. Your balls are still there, but you're just cock is just like you just spatter out of a little hole there. It's gone. So I have my balls. You have your balls, but you like literally like drip onto them because you have no penis down to the fucking base. Okay, cool. Uh, excuse me. God bless you. Thank you. Um, but it just spatters out like blah, 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 blah. We get it. All right? Your penis is gone. I'm talking about my dick. It's gone. We get it. Go. All right. All right. So you and your gone penis go to a laboratory and they're like, hey, listen, we can grow you a cock on a mouse. Okay. Or we can give you a cadaver dick. Ooh. A dead motherfucker's dick. Yeah. A dead ass dick. Yeah. Would you rather grow your own dick on a mouse or use a dead guy's dick? How big's the dead dick? You don't get to choose. You just get it. Whoever dies next on the list, you get that dick. 
I want some like I, I'd need some background information. I'd need I need to <laughs> show me the Carfax is what I would need. <laughs> Honestly, I need to know about this penis. Because I, I can't sacrifice my own. It is a mouse dick. Well, your dick is gone. You have no dick. If I'm, uh, by the way, the real like thing here is if you're trying to get me to like, not do this to this poor mouse. Like I would grow this dick on my mom's forehead and right. cut it off. That's like, what I'm saying. Is my dick? Bro. But that's I what need I'm a saying. Penis. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. a penis so they could grow it on this mouse. You have more How say. How big is that? You have more say. Okay. You have more is it going to be a dick or is it going to be like look like a mouse? No, 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 no. It's going to be a dick that grows onto a mouse. It's going to get cut off the mouse. Mouse look, lives a happy life. Clean you get penis, a dick. Though. Clean penis. Clean penis exchange. So I could get my, my sa- the same dick if I if I want. Yeah, you could get your same dick. I could even maybe get an inch. In yeah. so, it will, in, you the know. most you could be given is half an inch. The cadaver dick. That's a giant. The cadaver dick's a roulette wheel. You don't know what you're going to get. Listen, dicks are just like betting. Half a point, it's a lot. Yeah, it's true. It, it, it is. It swings the line. It does, big time. Yeah. Difference between a push and going home. Yeah, broke. I would definitely buy a point in this situation. So you're going mouse dick over cadaver dick. If I have more say, because I could get screwed there. If the average, the average dick is like, what, five something, right? Right. But that's why I asked you. You said you're not down with them growing body parts on them. Oh, but it, we're talking about my dick. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, when it comes down to your dick. Nah, man. You're going mouse dick over cadaver I would grow dick. that dick out of my grandma's spine. Yeah, word. Like, I don't give word. a shit. I need a penis. Would you? <laughs> also, having a dead guy's dick would be mad weird. What if the dick's haunted? That's what I'm saying. What if it possessed you? That's what I'm saying. If it just starts doing shit when I'm sleeping. I, I, I think they, they, they've done successful penile transplants. I think one or two, and they've done a successful head transplant. <laughs> how are you not a ghost? <laughs> nah, bro. Yo, how are you not a ghost, dog? I'm not, I'm Yo, not. yes, they did. Uh, they put a head. They took a head out of of a man. Hold on, you got a. You have your head. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And they cut that. Wait, who was alive? The body or the head? The the. That had to be the body. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? That's what I'm saying. No, the guy. The body, I guess, is like frozen. Wait, so the head was alive. The head was alive. And they put the head on a body. Yeah. Yes. No fucking way. Look it up. You watch successful head transplant. Was it Frankenstein? <laughs> successful. I'm looking it up too. Successful head transplant. They did it on a monkey. Yo, this can't. Holy shit. Oh my god, they did it. Oh, this is the New York Post, though. <laughs> New York Post is pretty reliable, though. I mean... Wait, yo. Wait, so, okay, so this is what happened. Your head is alive. This is the National Post. World's first human head transplant successfully performed on a corpse. Oh, my God. That means that the head was alive. The Frankenstein notion of head or accurately body transplants moved closer to reality Friday with the announcement that the first head swap has been carried out on human corpses. I can't even begin to understand this. Wait, hold on. Just look at me. Look at me in my face. I'm just... This is just fucking crazy. Wait, just look at me in my face. Yeah. Your head Mm -hmm. is alive. Right. There's a dead body, and they cut your head off. Uh Uh-huh. Put it on that body. Right. Now that body's alive? Yeah. I'm good with all of this. I think you... Do you become them? No, it's just your body, your brain. Yeah, but well, if you it, got new limbs, you got to learn how to move with your shit. But that's what I'm saying, though, because if I'm me, right, and yeah. I die and I get Joe Schmo's head, I become Joe Schmo. Your body does. Yeah, everything. No, your no, head, no. It's your brain, dude. You if you die, you don't become anything. You understand what I'm saying? The dude, I'm confused. The Is dude, that a philosophical no, statement? No, no, or? The, no. The dude who's alive oh. becomes your body. No, I don't. I don't know where I went. This is a real chicken or the egg thing. I'm here. gonna get a nosebleed thing. I know. I know. No, no, no. The dude who's alive. Okay. His head. Mm-hmm. He's the person who's gonna be something. Right. right. He's gonna be something for sure. You are gone now. I'm gone. My, uh, so sweat. your name's not even brought up. It's yeah. just like this body. We're gonna put you on this shit, and then you're gonna be just. And then he's gonna. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Dead. Alive, alive gets transferred to the. He becomes dead. you. You stay dead. Right. You don't become shit. Damn, that's whack. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't get anything. 
Wait, but if you have diabetes and you put a head on that, did they, is that head now? I got diabetes now. No, that's a pancreas thing. But I got a, the pancreas is right here. No, you're, you're mistaken. The, the head is different. I'm saying if they put a head on your body. <laughs> if they put a head on my body, they will have diabetes. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yeah. Would you rather have diabetes or no head? Or no body. That too. Or no life. <laughs> There's three options here, really. You could be dead, diabetes, or or a head. With no body. With no body. I'm taking a diabetes. Yeah. Take those. Take, Just got to eat ma- more fucking kale or That's spinach. That's it. You'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Whatever. Fix can't, that in post. Can't really drink, but. No. It's fine. Yeah. What the fuck were we talking about <laughs> at the beginning of this thing? I have no idea. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood, uh, the people taking the blood. Is, then we decided that it would was... You do, would you do it, though? Yeah, if I could afford it. If I would love to do, like, HGH <laughs> and, like, testosterone and, like, shit to, like... Is HGH, like, really bad for you? No. I've known people that have taken it. I would like to do, like, t- testosterone replacement therapy. I want to do, like, CBD stuff. I heard that's really good for you. A lot of people say it's good. I think as science... Damn, we're getting like very smart on the show. Yeah, well, not really. We're just kind of <laughs> saying we just argued about a head on bodies and shit. Yo, but CBD oil. You know what's you know what's crazy about stuff like that? It's like it says it's like there's all these studies and like science backs whatever, but nothing's proven. I'm like, well, well yeah. If you studied it and you're making claims. Why would you make claims if it wasn't proven? Because that's something that they like to do. Like that's like if something. Um, like if I give you a supplement, right, and it's not FDA approved, that's all it means is the Food and Drug Administration said it's not FDA approved to do that. To like say that like this definitely will result in. Right. It, it, it will result in uh, decreasing your anxiety. If there's not like if the FDA doesn't prove that like it, this actually does that, they're not going to put their stamp on it. But some people, it might do it for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess because if I if it says like it lowers your chance of like heart disease and then you end up getting heart disease, it's like, well, dude, I was taking the CBD. Right. Like uh, if you take like omega three pills, supplement the fish oil things. Yeah. They say that they could lower your risk of like whatever, but it's not FDA approved. It's just like they think that because these fats are good for you, this can help your heart. Are you sure they're not FDA approved? Yeah, a lot of supplements aren't. Huh. Whatever. Yeah. I don't really know, but I, I just... The idea of someone putting someone else's blood... I'm not a big blood guy. I don't... I just, like... Uh, like, I'm not, like, grossed out by blood. Like, and I, I'm not going to, like, see <coughs> blood and faint and shit. Yeah. But I don't want it on me. No. Definitely I don't, don't want it in me. No. Let me ask you this. Would you give your kidney to a friend that needed it? Oof. Yeah. That's tough. To a family member, without question. Friend, you, you're you're gonna be like you're, you're on your own in this one. Frankie. Oh, if Frankie came to me, and I, I wouldn't I, expect you to give me your kidney yet. <laughs> yet? Yeah. How How many like, more years? If we get to like 200 episodes, then maybe like <laughs> maybe we'll celebrate. We'll we'll enter kidney territory. Celebrate with a kidney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do cel- We'll do celebratory kidney territory. Um. But Frankie's like, yo, man, like, listen, you're a perfect match. I need this fucking kidney, man, or I'm going to die. Yeah, I got to give it to him. I don't think you could drink after that. Having one kidney? Yeah, I don't think so. I eh, figure it out. Yeah. I, listen, I get some blood transfusions, and I'm drinking with my one kidney. Right. We're going to work this shit to the bone, <laughs> all right? We're going to figure this out. You're Irish. You probably have like six kidneys. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. So, so. so you would. Yeah, honestly. If it came down to him dying, but I'd be like, yo. If anyone really asked me, like, <laughs> not anyone, but like, right. Not a person that I knew personally. Right. Don't put like, yourself in the hot water here. You might have like eleven inboxes later. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, let me get that. By kidney. the way, I need a kidney, and I'd be like, listen, I didn't mean what I said. No, no. But if someone I knew personally, like for many years, like you know, I have a lot of friends, but like if some of them was, if one of them was like, I'm gonna die. Weird flex, but okay. I have so many fucking friends. <laughs> no, but I, if if one of them came up to me like, I'm gonna die if you don't give me your kidney, I'm like, well, then take my fucking kidney. Right. Fuck, man. I don't know if I'd be that like. I'd be like, yo, you sure you're dying? Like, let me go to the doctor with you. Like, let's talk about this. It's not really something you lie about. Oh, you'd be surprised. I'd be shocked. I don't know, man. 
People lie about dying from kidneys. Why? Yo, you people want lie. About, yo, people lie about a lot of shit. I get I, it, but like, why would you lie? Why would you want another kidney? What is that? Cool? No, yo, dude. But I'm meaning more Not along. Brand new kid. I'm 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 leaning more along the lines of like people will lie and say they have something. Like I just want to see some paperwork. That's all I want to see. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. It's like a cop. Someone pulls you over. You're like, I just need to see yeah. your badge, dude. I'll, I'll yeah. do what you want. Just show me your badge. Yeah, I just I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. Yeah. Let's talk this out here. Yeah. Let's go to the doctor together. Let's make sure we're a perfect match. Because I don't want to go throwing away kidneys if the shit ain't gonna work. I'll keep my shit. That's fair. That's all I want to know. That's fair. That's all I want to know. It's very fair. You know, and this is all stemming from me being afraid to get old. That's where it's. That's where it started. Yeah, the show goes off the rails. It's like uh, it's. Yeah, but I think I fast. think I think it goes off the rails. But we have such a good time talking, going off the rails that we could find our way back somehow. I mean, that was tough to get back. No, I, fa- I found it. I was, found it. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Got to leave breadcrumbs along the way, like Hansel and Gretel. God, you ever have that fucking? Are you itch? itching that cock? No, no. You ever have that itch on your balls where you kind of have to pinch the skin and like rub it back and forth? <laughs> Yo. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I'm so glad that I'm th- I'm not the only one who does that. Oh, it's fantastic. Like, I'm doing it right now. You got to grab it and you got to go like. Just twist it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. Why did you say that like Cause that? Because I don't know. I don't know. I got afraid. Was, was I was doing it at the same time, so I was enjoying the sensation. Now I'm doing it. It feels great. Yeah. You're like, you're like rubbing the skin back and forth. Yeah. It's just nicely tight and I you're f- just curling it a little. I feel like this is like how crickets make noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they just rub their balls. And it just feels so good. It just gets. Satisfying an itch. Top ten feelings in the world. Yeah. If you had to rate the top three feelings in the world, what would you say? Coming. Well, unanimous coming. Number one. S- so fire. Two th- is uh, just making it to the bathroom to take a big L shit. Satisfying. Oh my god, where you're like you're cold sweating. You're like I can't even get my keys yeah. out of my. Yeah. And then you get and then you just. Bagoom. Fire that dump. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, it's just like you know, slow motion yeah. scene in there. That's like winning the Olympics. Yeah, running through the fucking ribbon. Yeah. Oh, oh love that. Um, and then three, I think is, I don't know. I would say food. No, I don't get there. Oh man. I get to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Try being on a diabetic diet. You'll know the things you miss. Yeah, yeah. I, food doesn't really give me like the ah. Oh! You know, it doesn't really do that for me. God, taking a shit does though. That's weird. No, that, that's a human. Taking shits is amazing. Yeah. Maybe when hiccups stop. Oh, I love when that happens. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. Like gone. It's like or, a sense of relief. Or when you blow your nose like just perfectly. You know, and you can actually breathe through your nose again. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Damn, why are we having so much trouble, like, figuring out what feels good? Because we're sad. Or we're just <laughs> o- only thinking about coming. No, no yeah, that too. Uh, things that feel good. Um, taking your socks off after a long day. Okay. How much do you love taking your socks off in bed with, with just your feet? You get, the, <laughs> you get that toe under that first sock. You're like, oh, I'm good money, dude. I can't. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many times I went to make my bed, and I'm like, all these fucking socks at the end of this thing. <laughs> fucking funny that you said that. What? Alana's been out of town for like two or three days. Socks all over that bed. I made the bed today. Seven socks, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking curled up. Because <laughs> Eli eats them. Yeah. So he, I, he, I saw him down there. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, oh, it's a fucking sock cemetery down here. Yeah. 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 Ooh. A good hug. A good hug, but like a good hug precursored by something. Just like a squeeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Like if I haven't seen you in a month, like that kind of hug. Ooh, a cr- crying is sometimes fire. I think crying is one of the best human emotions possible. I, I really do. I really do. Because, yo, like, honestly, there's been times. This is such a funny thing. <laughs> I think crying is, like, the greatest thing I think. Ever. I think it's better than laughing. I think it's, Oh, that is so fucking stupid. Here's why. Here's why I think it's better than laughing. Because when you're laughing, you're, it's, it's like stimulation outside. Like, you're stimulated by something that's happening, right? 
Okay. Like if you make a funny joke, ha 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 ha, gut buster. And then when you're crying though, it's more internal. So like you you you're it's like self healing kind of in a way to cry. Damn, that was deep as shit. You're not, it was a good try, <laughs> but you're not gonna fucking convince me that crying... one of us on this table is on Lexapro. Yeah, let's right. just say that <laughs> someone's taking <laughs> depression medication. All right, but you know, <laughs> crying is better than laughing. I someone get this man. What, what do you think is more therapeutic, laughing or crying? That's the better question. What's I think more therapeutic. I think crying is more therapeutic because. You, because it's internal. You're, it's something that you're suffering. I get what you're saying, because like there'll be times where I'll ha- I like randomly will have like a really good cry, and then yeah. at first I'd be like, I needed that. Yeah, yeah. It's like but listen, laughing's like, like way better. Laughing's way better because it's fun. What's better than fun? Coming. Coming. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Oh, that's why we do the show. That, that's, come on, man. God we're on, we're on fire. I'm on fire. Too, best, best in the business. Too, almost too funny today. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. Off to yeah. a hot ass start. Have you ever like been like when we're doing an episode and you're kind of just like, yeah, we're, this is a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Like 12 minutes into this, I was like, yeah, god damn this episode. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It, like, uh, I remember we were, t- we were talking about it one time. Like we were talking about crying. Yeah, because um, it was that day where I just started crying in the studio. Remember, <laughs> which time? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but like, a part of that for me, it's like you're you're never more vulnerable than when like you're crying alone. Like crying around other people, it it could get misconstrued. Okay. Like when you're crying by yourself, <clears throat> you know why you're crying. It can be from happiness. That's why like crying isn't just sad shit. Oh, I cry from being happy. That's what I'm saying. Like those golden buzzers on fucking like yeah, America's dude. Got Talent. Dude, if I see like a kid that like with like cerebral palsy, like uh, th- that video of that kid like deadlifting, made me fucking cry. I was so, I, I felt so happy for this kid. Yeah. So that's why I think crying is the ultimate emotion. All right. Because it could be sad tears, bad tears. It's it's versatile. Good t- yeah, it's versatile. Did you say versatile or versatile? I just said versatile. Yeah. I'm a versatile guy. Versatile? No pun intended. Why would that be pun intended? Cuz I think I'm versatile. Like as a human. I think I'm humanly versatile. What? <laughs> I think What day you, is it? I think, <laughs> I think now How did I get here? Now you're just trying to sound like so like introspective and smart i went to college i swear to god i went i swear all right anyway uh let's get to these ads real quick and yeah, let's pump we'll, the brakes a little let's bit pump the, <laughs> listen let's pump the brakes a lot of it yes i right? hear you uh, uh sorry <laughs> what a little stretch a little stretch in the hammies do you stretch every time after you you exercise absolutely not that's a terrible thing that i do you should stretch and i don't how often do you think you should stretch uh, you should stretch after your workouts. Do you stretch before workouts? You ca- there is certain ex- exercises you can do before the workouts, but usually, like in high school, like the ones we did before football, those in some studies have been proven to actually not help. Okay. But you are supposed to stretch after you work out, like every time. Because I'm back in the gym now. Which so I, I don't do. So I got to figure that out. Stretch after you work out. Okay. Warm up with like light weight. Yeah. Work out, then stretch. Okay. Boom. Um, all right, let's get to the to the sponsors we have today. First one, Harry's. Harry's Razors. Over 10 million people have joined Harry's. So let's get it, okay? Proof some pudding. At, look at this face. All right? I know I'm not too cleaned up at the say, moment. I would say look at this face. I'm a great candidate for Harry's. Yeah, you got a lot of hair going. I got a lot of hair going. What I'm trying to say is Harry's Razors, okay? Best razors in the game. Boom. All right. They received over 20,000 five-star reviews. You know how many reviews that is? That's 20,000 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. That's a lot. Five-star reviews. I'm sorry. I just, that's what I'm saying. Five-star ones. Um, uh, they fixed. The, they fixed. Uh, they combined a simple, clean design with quality, durable blade blades at a fair price. Okay. Um, Harry's replacement cartridges are just $2 each. That's half the price of like 
a Gillette or whatever the hell, uh, you know, whatever. And all Harry's blades come with a 100% quality guarantee. Okay. Best razors in the game. They show up in like a nice box. There's like a little, like, like the way that they present their product is worth it in itself. Yeah. Like I like getting the package from Harry's. It feels like I'm about to get like a golden gun. That's what it feels like. Well, in you Fortnite or, or or 007? No, I mean yeah, like 007. Yeah, about like say. how it's like in like a nice little like package. You know Hell what I mean? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can get a, a trial set right now. You can claim your your trial offer by going to Harry's.com/basement. You get a thirteen dollar value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. Mm. A weighted handle, five uh, blade razor with lubricating strip and trimmer blade. A uh, rich lathering shave gel and mm. a travel blade cover. What more do you need? How, name it. You get the whole store, basically. What more do you need All to right? shave that grill? So right now, you can redeem your, your trial set, like I said, at harrys.com slash basement. Um, Harry spelled H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash basement. Get that trial offer going. Try out the razors. They are popping. Okay? Clean that face up. They're the best ones in the game. I'm about to use one today. Get this in this neck going. I gotta get mine too. I gotta get. You know mine. what I mean? Usually, I got like some some weird shit on my neck because yeah. I have like razor burn from bad razors. Harry's don't With be doing Harry's, that. They don't be doing that because look, it's coming. It, it's coming together. I see it. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. Next, we have Robinhood. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission free. While other brokerages uh, charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Plus, there is no account minimum uh, deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes it makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. Uh, view easy-to-understand re- charts and market uh, data or data, uh, and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Phone. You can also view stock collections such as the 100 most popular. Um, yeah. Uh, with Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. <laughs> Why can't I read right now? Listen, I, I've never been able to read. You're good. Uh, Robinhood is giving listeners of the Basement Yard a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. Just sign up at Basement dot robinhood.com again that is basement dot robinhood.com get a free stock like apple ford or sprint so go check that out as well and that is all the sponsors we have today we love our sponsors here on the basement yard love them all you know who else we love our patrons yeah you dude beat, you beat me to it beat me to it uh right now let me check danny's getting awfully close to getting a raise here uh i said at 1500 patrons he would get a raise, and we'd probably do it on the show. Um, but right now... Have a have, raise special? Ooh, we, have, we are less than 125 patrons to the goal. We have 1,378. Yeah, and we're just going to keep making goals. But um, if you want to support the show, uh, you can head on over to patreon.com slash thebasementyard, and uh, it, it helps the show a lot. Absolutely. We're, we're trying to do a lot of stuff in the future with it. And, you know, the the money that people are pledging every month uh, really helps. And there are some cool things that you can get, like personalized video shout-outs from me and Danny. Uh, you get every episode a week early. Mm-hmm. There's some extra content that we throw up there. And there's always room for more stuff uh, to be done on there as well. Which we are working on, actually. Oh, and they also get an exclusive episode every single month. That is <sighs> not anywhere else. You okay? can only see it at patreon.com slash the basement yard yes patreon spelled p-a-t-r-e-o-n yeah dot so com slash basement yard. you want to be closer to the show now you can be closer than ever there you go there it is you filthy sluts that's it uh, also so i really want to talk about something and i'm expecting it to be forever because we're at 44 minutes into this thing that's fine this is going to take three hours that's to fine. discuss hey listen this i'm down shane dawson yeah some stuff going on with Shane Dawson. I was fully immersed in it. I'll be honest. I'm not fully immersed, but I'm definitely sitting on the edge with my legs in. Yeah. You know, like I know what's going on, but I'm in the water totally at least. Was going on. Oh, my t- listen, I'm up <laughs> into my fucking knee right now. Uh, if you type in Shane Dawson's name into Google right now, yes. The first search that comes up is Shane Dawson cat. Yeah. Would you like to explain why? Okay, so... By the way, for those who don't know, Shane Dawson, 
is a very popular YouTuber mm-hmm. who's been doing it for years. Long time. So long time. That's okay. So this is how long he's been doing it. So back in 2014 or 2015, he was a guest on a podcast. And during that podcast, he had some very special things to say about a relationship between him and his cat known as Cheeto. Okay. So during that podcast, he goes on to state that he laid his female cat on her back spread open her chicken type legs i don't know why she would call their cat legs not chicken legs but anyway and he proceeded to hump the cat and he ejaculated on it did you say ejaculated yeah i did that's fine but this dude came on a cat he jizzed on his cat and he said it i have the clip you have the clip play it hold on just so people can hear this where is it Red flag number oh, one. Terrible things. I used to. Oh, oh no. I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> one time, I laid my cat down on her back. Did you get arrested for this? I don't. I don't know. No. Think about it. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. She's okay. trying to help him. Don't say it. You big, fucking yeah, weirdo. big time trying to. Whoa. Move her little chicken legs, like you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just like hump, but like on her tummy, like that's not weird. Like whatever. And then I humped and I humped and I humped and I kept going, kept going. I came all over the cat. No, you did not. It was like my first sexual experience. No I was also way. like 19. <laughs> so it's like, you know, wait a minute. Wait a second. Hey, bud. Did you say you came? 19? Way too old to come on a cat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know when you know you're too old to come on a cat? When you start being able to come. Yes. Anytime you're able to fucking bust a nut, probably shouldn't be busting nuts on animals. If Dude. he was nine and humped the cat, I, I could get it. Okay. You're just a little weird. A little weird going on. But what I'm saying is this. 19's old. 19 is 10 years later. It's a college student coming on a cat by... I was a kid. Yeah. What? I was 19 years old. I'm a sophomore in college, and you're coming on cats, bro. Dude... Lil Pump's like 15 years old. He's got millions of dollars. Can barely speak English. And he knows he can't come on a cat. Exactly. And you had years on him. You can't You can't be coming on cats. Can't be coming Dude, on cats. Dude, he, he later came out to say that he was joking. He said it was a joke. I'm not going to defend myself because blah, blah, blah. That's why I'm, tr- I'm trying to find the thread. His tweet? Yeah. All right. So this is the first tweet of the thread. I didn't fuck my cat. That's a hot start. Hot start. Hot start to your apology tweet. Gets hard, uh, harder. Gets hotter. I didn't come on my cat. <laughs> this is Dr. Seuss. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. I've never done anything weird with my cats. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after the last year's thing. So I'm trying to be as short and honest with you as possible. Do you want me to keep reading? Yeah, yeah. I've apologized many times for all the dumb shit I've said in videos and podcasts over the years. I've learned my lesson over and over and over again, and I'm more confident now in my ability to be entertaining by just being myself and not being so shocking for laughs. Okay, buddy. Third, that story was fake and was based on a dumb, awful sketch idea I had years ago that I never made. So this guy's just lying. Okay. Thank God. And when the opportunity came up for a funny moment in the podcast, I told it as if it was a real story, which was very disgusting and very, very dumb. Stop. Okay. So here's the thing, right? Even if this is made up. Yeah. He it, he then admitted, oh, I was like an idea for a sketch. Hey, man. <laughs> not funny. What sketch? I've heard funnier. I've, I've heard of way funnier sketches than that. In what context would it be cool for you to be like, yo, you know what would be hilarious? If you humped this cat and just come on it. Yeah. That's hysterical. We're all dying laughing. Yeah. And listen, Shane Dawson isn't an actor. He isn't. He has. He's not winning fucking Academy Awards, whatever. You heard the audio. He could. That was a real story. Yeah. He tried to save it by saying, I was like 19. Yeah. That's. Yeah. If I was a lawyer, which I very well could be. A cat lawyer? Yes. If I was a cat lawyer, 
that he's, that he's going down. that right there is enough evidence to bury him. Because just off his voice alone and the tonality of his voice. Yes. Damn, dude, I'm using good words today. You're on. What is going on? With I you? don't know. I fell earlier. <laughs> So, I don't know. Maybe someone got knocked back into place. But the tonality of his voice is very convincing. Okay? Here we go. This is the other This is the other part of his rant. My goal with the podcast and with videos years ago was to tell shocking stories that would make people laugh and scream, Oh, my God. No, you didn't. Why, so, did, you, why did you put that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I tried to sound like him. Uh... <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to not laugh. Okay. Uh, and think I was so crazy. <laughs> it's like seven O's. <laughs> and it's in quotes. Okay. Fuck. So this dude thought It's that embarrassing and I fucking hate myself for it. For coming on a cat, I would hate myself too. <laughs> All right? Why can't you just shit in a litter box like normal people? That's what I'm saying. Jesus Danny, Christ. Danny used to scoot across the floor. Come on, man. Just own your shit. Yeah. Own your shit, bro. Own your cum. Own, own your cum, man. It's your cum. It's your cum. You're a cat. <laughs> you're at fault here. <laughs> you're at fault. You're coming on cats, you're, bro. You're sketch. Everything's got your fingerprints yeah. on it. Yeah. The stinks of cat cum, and it's you. We know it's you. All right? Now that I'm making stuff... Now that I'm making stuff I love and I'm being myself, it feels so much better and I finally feel like I'm putting stuff out into the world that means something, like your cum. I'm not saying I hate everything I've made over the years. There's so many things that I'm proud of, but all of my offensive jokes, over-the-top stories, and insensitive jokes are something that still haunt me and something I have to be face, I have to be faced with every day. That's not... So wait, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, on the internet, and it never gets easier. That's six of a couple more tweets. It doesn't get easier, dude. I have no problem. Like, I mean, I do, but like, if you make it an insensitive joke, and because like, you know, oh, I thought you were gonna say you have no problem with coming on a cat. I was gonna be like Joe. Oh, huge problem. Yeah. Uh, no, but back in the day, everyone has to understand that it was a different environment. People were saying, like, like we talked about on a previous episode, people in movies and stand-ups, it was, like, common that they would use the word faggot. Yes. You can't do that nowadays. Dude, Eddie so Murphy's, me, like, whole fucking thing is, like, faggots. I That's know. all he says. And it's, like, back in, the, back in the day, it was a different thing. So if you made an insensitive joke and you have to deal with the repercussions of that, that's one thing. This isn't one of those things. In every era, in every single era, of life. coming on your cat, <laughs> not cool. If you came on your cat, in ancient Greece, it was not cool. See, I will give one argument. Ancient Greece, they might have been like, it gives you power or something. They were weird. I, I mean. They were weird. I, it was but I get, I get, I get. <laughs> not ancient Rome, though. They're, those guys were coming on everything. Who? The Romans? Oh, yeah, probably. Jesus Christ. If you had a pulse, they c came on you. Yeah, but you know what I mean. No, I feel and you. No, I, I, I agree with you 100%. At no point was this, it's, this isn't, a, this isn't an, an, like an insensitive joke. No. It's a fucking weird thing. And you want to know what it is? It's a true story. Yeah, that's why it's weird. <laughs> and you tried to save it, but be like, oh, guys, relax. Uh, I was 19. I love I love, I love, how people like do these things and go into diatribes. Like, I have to I have to deal with this every day. And uh, I have to, you don't understand. You said you were going to come on a cat. You yeah. said you came on a cat. You don't think anyone's going to be like, hey, let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, let's put you to the side. Did you really come on that cat? Yeah. I'm going to ask you that. Well, I d I'll tell you what. I'm not going over to that house. Guess what? Here's the thing. I'm not babysitting that cat. No way. Get that cat out of here. Get that cum cat. Get the fuck out of here. Get that cum cat out of here. But if it's stand-up, you obviously know they're lying. Right. Obviously. For the most part. And here's another thing. On a podcast? Here's another thing. It's a little bit different. You guys want to hear something else? Not a comedian. That's not, not a comedian. Right. You're not a comedian. If a comedian went on a show and said they came on a cat, I'd be like, ah, ha, 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 they're kidding. But not only that, but when a comedian tells a story, you could, you know when it's fake. Yes. You'd be like, like yeah, like, uh, I was in some traffic coming here. Like, no, you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, all right, I'm, I'm along for the ride. Today, I was at the store. No, you weren't. No, you were, you're here. You're in the, you were in a hotel room. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? No, but like, the, the way that, but the way that they tell the story, it's an obvious joke. With him... Unless he's the greatest storyteller and actor of all time. Right. That just felt like a real thing. And listen, am I saying 
we should go to Shane Dawson's house and kick down his door. No. All I'm saying is, uh, yes. if we have, like, if you keep a record of mm-hmm. things that have happened, yeah. let's write down that this dude come on, came on his cat. I just want people to remember he came on his cat. I'm not saying anything should happen to him. I don't want him to lose sponsorships or hurt his business or I don't think he's a bad dude. Right. I think he's a weird dude who came on a cat, though. I do, too. I'm going to have to stay in that camp. Way later in life, too. Like, you didn't come on a cat at four. Yeah. You know what I mean? I fingered a Tigger thing, like a Tigger stuffed animal. Wasn't alive, though. It was a stuffed animal. Yeah. And I fingered that thing when I was like five. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you're still trying to figure out what stuff does. Yeah. Because it was 19. You know what cum is. And you know you're going to come on that cat. And you know who your cat is. Oh, Came on your cat. How do you clean that off your cat? I don't want to think about that. I don't, it, that's definitely a bad situation, though. Yeah, yeah, that's a rough. That's An a immediate rough, bath. That's a rough hairball for Cheeto. Dude, that's a weird, like, <laughs> you think PETA's going to go after him? Probably. All right, so there, I think this is the last tweet he did. I feel like without my past, I wouldn't be who I am today. So without coming on a cat in your past, you wouldn't be who you are today. Right. Let's, let's it, chalk it all his success up to coming on a cat. <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to grow and spend my energy on things that actually mean something. I probably meant something to that cat. This has been the best two years of my life, and it's because I've been able to drop the act and be myself, and I'm sorry for not doing it sooner. That's it. Okay. And, uh... I don't know how to feel about it, but guess what? He came on that cat. Without question. Yeah. Well, and the other thing, speaking of cats, um, I've been watching... Be a, careful. No, I know, I know. <laughs> all No cats were harmed in the making of this podcast. Thank God. Or just on. Um, I've been watching a lot of, like, cat catfish episodes recently. Like I have these ten re- years too late, but okay. Uh, no, 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 no. But like I watch like they have like uh like compilations on MTV, okay. Like their YouTube channel. So like I'll watch like biggest like surprise ones or like. Did you see the one where the guy was like they make him do the girl voice? Yes. He's like, I just don't understand like why you gotta yo. <laughs> and the guy was like, oh my god, I've been talking to this dude. And they had one, yeah, which was a compilation on people who thought they were actually dating celebrities. One guy thought he was dating Katy Perry. Don't yeah. feel bad for him. One guy thought one girl thought she was dating Bow Wow. That's more realistic. That's more realistic. Sorry, Bow Wow, but I think you you could be dated right now. Bow Wow's not watching. No, no, no. But uh, <laughs> one, the first thing I want to say, two questions. One, do you think it's cool for Neve and Max to kind of? You know, like, that's not true to entertain that because the person that you're going to be talking to is a crazy person. Oh, do you think they should? Yeah, because like, they have to go into that episode like they have to pretend like we're going to do some research. Yeah. Research is literally <laughs> us going to the other room going, dude, no. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the shortest catfish episode of all time. <laughs> literally just sitting them down. We did some research and... uh for three seconds and we just gotta let you know uh you're not dating katie perry bud yeah and the thing is too it's like neve's famous yeah probably definitely knows somebody that knows katie perry just get on the phone episode's over <laughs> you don't need much more but i you, think it's more of like a uh you want to see how crazy that person is no i want to backtrack find out who fake katie perry is that too that too yeah but also the guy was in denial. He was like, no, it's the real Katy Perry. And they're both like, dude, no, it's not. And he's like, yeah, it is. So they basically had to go out of their way to prove to this person that he wasn't dating Katy Perry. And wait till you see the guy. I don't like to judge people on their looks. Not somebody Katy Perry would date. Okay. In on the line. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> All right. Yes. So what I wanted to ask you, one, do you think that's them exploiting that person for a little bit i don't really think so but i think it makes for good television um because like i think shows like teen mom uh my pregnant 16 year old fucking daughter or whatever that show is called i don't think it's fucking's in the title but those are exploiting people yeah like honey boo boo that was exploiting like look at this redneck family yeah look at these bunch of idiots basically yeah and like 
This one enters beauty pageants and like eats like cheese. You know, like they like, you know, they, they portrayed her in a negative or, light. Or there's another that other show uh, about gypsies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's that one? called? Oh, I don't know. But it's it's it is ridiculous. So do you think like MTV's exploiting? Of course they are. Like teen moms yeah. and 16, 16 and pregnant. It's called. That's what it is. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I it, of course. So that's fucked up. Yes, it is. There's not a whole lot of like, you know, and morals behind. And also, it's like those people like make money or whatever. But like, the world it's not is to, looking at you like a, you're a fucking idiot. That's the hardest part. Yeah, because that's the reality of the situation. Like, no one's watching that gypsy show and being like, you know, I'm very invested in these people's lives and they're they're great. They're like, oh, look at these fucking assholes. I know. That's what it is. Yeah. It's the whole appeal of the show. Yeah. That's why they film it the way that they do. That's why you hear stories all the time of people planting fights in like reality TV shows and whatnot. We want to see the madness. We want to judge people and feel like, ah, at least I'm not that guy. That's why Jerry, Jerry Springer is so fake. I know. The whole show is bullshit. Always has been. Everyone's grandma's getting fucked or whatever the hell's going on and like who's you know, having sex with a little person now. And yeah. like, it's all like scripted to look ridiculous. So we can go, ah, look at these fucking douchebags. Yeah. It's all exploiting these people. Yeah. Like I would watch, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, but oh, no. I went through a huge phase where I watched this one about all these little women. It's like little, yeah. w- little women, Miami. It's like, yeah, it's like, uh, the bad girls club. Of yeah. Like little people. And like, they like sit there and fight at dinners and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? Dude. But I can't turn it off. And the entire appeal of that show, what is it? Because they're, they're little. They're little. Because they're little people. Somebody came up with that idea. Someone was like, yo, let's make this. Sh- let's make uh, Real Housewives of fucking whatever city, New Jersey. But them all be little people. But them all be little people. Because it'll just add another factor to the whole thing. And then it's like some of them date like regular height guys. And then some of them date like fellow little people. So it's like. I can't turn it off. That's the, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just. I feel bad for watching it because like I could judge it, but I'm watching it. You know what I mean? It makes me feel a little strange, but I feel like catfish can do that sometimes with like people, you know, that probably like, well, here's a couple thing. screws loose there. Here's the thing. Like that happened. Would you, what you said where the guy was like convinced like that had happened to me before. Well, that was my second question. I wanted to ask you, have you, people have portrayed you on the internet. Oh, yeah, all the time. And it happened to me recently, which actually made me feel pretty famous, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Yeah. Um, how does that make you feel to know that somebody did that to you? I don't really care. If it has no effect on my life, I don't care. But if it's, once it starts to like actually affect my life, then I really care. But if someone's out... like. I feel like I'm out there enough that if you do like even the slightest bit of research, you'll know that I'm not Paul from fucking Minnesota. Right. You know, but you'd be surprised, man. There's a lot of gullible people out there. Sure. And like, you know, whatever I, I but I, what am I going to do about that? I don't fucking know who's signing up for Tinder with my face. Right. But if somebody comes to you and says, Hey, this is you. Yeah. Someone's using a picture of you. If it was me, I'd be like, yo, this is not me. Yeah. I say that. That's what I'm saying. Well, I usually when usually I get screenshots from people, it's usually from dating apps, and it's usually people who follow me are being like, "Look how oh I didn't know you were Greg from accounting in, you know, Oklahoma City." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like they know that it's not right. you know me, but I don't know. But there was this one time. This was back in like 2013, and I had a PO box set up, and I got a, um, it was like this dish, and it had a bunch of like. <laughs> cook like um it was like styrofoam with like uh i don't even know like these things in them like sticks like edible stuff yeah yeah and then at the top there was like cookies and there were different like ball like it was like a football a soccer thing and i was like who the fuck is this from i hope you threw that right in the garbage well i know i would never eat anything except (laughs) in the mail (laughs) but you know if my cousin sent me something in the mail i'd be like well why did you do this i'm throwing it out yes um and there was a letter with it as well so i'm reading the letter and it says uh, hey Joe. Uh, oh no, it said yeah, it said Hey Joe, and then yo, it was two two pages this way and on the back, this way and on the back, Ugh. and I r- was reading it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
fucking write novels out here. I would have I would have gave up half a half a paragraph into there. Well, I was curious because in in like the I was curious who it was from because at that point I'm like, okay, whatever. Did it have the arrow to say like turn over? No, it didn't. <laughs> you remember those though, right? Yeah, I did. But uh, so I'm I'm reading it. it says Dear Joe and it's saying all this stuff and then it said something like, um, you know, I know we haven't talked in a while or something of. I know we broke up. I know we stopped talking a while ago, but I wanted to like, you know, get you something nice. Now I'm thinking like, this is like a girl that I knew. Like, I'm right. like, Oh shit. Like, who's this? Now I'm like really curious. So I'm like reading like through it, you know? Cause I'm yeah. like, what girl would send me something to my like PO box? Like they know where I live. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You reach for the glasses on that one. You're just like, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, this. Hold, wait, on. hold on. I like folded it like a white dude in a park with the newspaper. Like, yeah. One second. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm like, I'm like, oh shit! All right, what is what is going on here? And um, then I start reading more, and it says, at first I read the whole page. It said that whole thing in the beginning, and then it was just saying like a bunch of gibberish. That I'm like, I kept going like, who is this? Right. You know, I get to the second page, and I read that whole thing. Then on the third page, Jesus. I read something that said, um, you know, at this point, uh, I'm hooking up with other guys, and you're probably hooking up with other guys too. And I was like, what? She wrote guys? Yeah. So I was like, what? What is going on? And then I started to realize that like, someone's getting catfished by someone who's portraying me as a gay guy. Oh. So it was, and then I read to the bottom and it was from a dude. And I was like, whoa, what is this? Yeah. Right? So, and I'm not and, buying it. And he like, <laughs> So it was from a dude, and he and he left his information there for some reason. I thought that was always strange. Please tell me you called this gay man. I didn't call him. I, I messaged him on Facebook. Okay, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you made contact with this gay man that reached out to you. Oh, oh yeah. I need to know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had reached out to, to the guy because I felt bad. He sent me this nice thing that I ended up throwing out immediately. Yes. And he wrote me this whole thing that was nice. So... I, you know, whatever. So I, I messaged the guy. I find his Facebook and I messaged him and I said, Hey man, I just want to let you know, I received this thing in the mail. My name is, you know, Joe Santagato. And apparently someone's using my pitch pictures to catfish you. And I'm like, sorry to have to tell you this. I was like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how this could happen. Like if you want to give me the, the link to their profile, gladly like report it and like whatever. But right, trying to know, help them out. This is me, and this is like look at like the videos I've made. Here's my Instagram. Just like try and prove that it's actually me. Here's me with a woman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually I mentioned I was like I'm not gay. Like I'm, yeah. I'm straight and like whatever. Blah blah. So I, I gave him all this information, and it was just like you don't have to lie. Oh and my I was god. Like, and I was like, dude, I'm 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 not lying to you. Like I'm I'm trying to like help you out or whatever. And he never, like, believed me. And I went back and forth with him. Like, I sent maybe four messages, and he sent me, like, five, like a like a bunch. And then I stopped answering after a while because I'm like, I can't help this guy. God, this is like Shutter Island of gayness. I don't... I, <laughs> like, how many times are you going to try to convince this guy that you're not gay? <laughs> he, he thought it was me. And then why would I just suddenly be like, hey, man, that's not me? It was a, I think it was a different last name, too. But the name was Joe, and it was my pictures. Right. But I was like, yeah, man, it's not me. And I was trying to explain. And he was just like, nah, you're... You're, g- you're gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I wouldn't walk around the block be like... Dude. Did I, how much did I drink? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, but yeah, it was like this whole thing. And they had been talking for like months. Yeah. And he thought it was me. And Damn. then I, I found the Facebook eventually. And like they were tweeting some very graphic things. Uh, making like Facebook posts like very graphic Wow. Like, talking about like, it's like Monday morning talking about how they want to suck a dick or whatever, which I feel like if you want to suck a dick, it wouldn't even be on that day. It would be some, it would be closer to the weekend. That's not even like gay. That's like slutty. Yeah. It was definitely some slutty gayness. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, well, that's, I always that's... talk about if I was gay, I'd probably be a huge slur anyway. So maybe that was kind of like a different dimension. It would be me. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it could have been a different dimension. I, Joe. Like, I like to think I'm a little classier than sucking penis on a Monday morning though. We all like to, I, yeah. you know, if I, it presents itself in the right way, you never know. But yeah, I just, I'm someone would either catfish someone with my face or I have a split personality that's <coughs> super gay. It's like me, myself and Irene. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh man. I think it's crazy how 
easy it is to catch somebody like being fake on the internet. But I feel like a lot of people just don't go out of their way to do it because like they're like they're longing for like companionship, you know? I think it's just a, a lack of experience. There's a lot of people <clears throat> who don't talk to a lot of people on the internet. So right. like they probably wouldn't be exposed to a catfish or anything because I remember when I was young and on MySpace and there was like this this grown dude I'm in like seventh grade and there's a grown ass woman with gigantic tits and her name's like Tiffany Diamond and she's messaging me like what's up with that little cock and I'm like what is good yeah that's pretty dope actually yeah and like it was probably a bald dude who like wanted my cheeks yeah the internet used to be way scarier uh let me ask you this do you think the internet used to be more scarier or it's scarier now it was scarier back then because it was more unknown. I think it's more dangerous now. How so? Because I think there's just more opportunity to be a predator. Yeah. Or like do weird shit. Like you could steal people's identity and you could also just be a weird fuck. And like, if you, if like, the, because I know the internet and social media so well, in theory, I could be amazing at catfishing someone. Like I know all the steps to like, cover my ground like it would take so much effort but i could do it god yeah. you're a sociopath i got that fucking ability <laughs> baby like i feel like going out of your way to catfish somebody for so long like i love when they ask them on the show they'll be like so have you ever facetime it's like nah it's like either like a bad connection or like they ain't paid their phone bill i'm like how long have you been talking to this person I'm like seven years i'm like dude we're gonna have to move on here yeah, at that point, that's your fault. Yeah. Like, it's hard for me to feel bad for people on that show because, one, the people that they get on the show sometimes are good looking. A lot of times they're not great. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the person that they're going after are these insanely gorgeous people. Yeah. And it's like, you got you to gotta, you gotta look in the mirror sometimes. You got to know where you stand. You got to know where you stand. All right? If someone fucking catfished me and it was fucking J-Lo, someone that looks like that, odds are this is a dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, or somebody that, or... Dude, or, I've done that in the past before. You know? Like, someone has messaged me and, like, they're insanely hot and I'm like, I'm not even gonna fucking dignify this with an answer. Yeah. Because there's no way. Yeah. Like, this is out of my tax bracket here, okay? That's what I'm saying. It's like, listen... I know where I stand. You're not dumpster diving on Thursday night. Yeah. You've got somewhere to be. That's what I'm saying. You know? Yeah. You're not coming around to me. Yeah. I, I get punching down sometimes, but no one's going to punch way down and hit me yeah. at like 19 years old. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it, it it's, there's levels to this, guys. Let's be real. Yeah. And it's hard for them to say it, I feel like, on the show to be like, hey, man, listen. Probably not going to be fucking this girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. And it's like, why set yourself up like that? And that's why I feel like like it comes back to what you said, that people lack communication skills. And this is the only thing they've really ever had. So they take it and run with it. Well, I also think that it's possible to fall in love with the idea of somebody. So maybe like... At a mm. certain point, they could feel like... That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, they, they could feel like, um, you know, this might not be the person I'm talking to. But that is completely, like, overwhelmed by... But I just love speaking to this person. Yeah. And, like, it gives me something to look forward to. Like, I have a long day at work, and I live in a small town, and, like, no one here fucks with me. But this person gives me attention. Right. And has a... a beautiful face to it even though i don't haven't seen their real face face yet right and they uh say nice things to me and they compliment me and like they uh probably fucking sexed with me yeah and send me pictures of god knows who yeah um so that i think they fall in love with that more than anything right. so they choose to forget about the the red flags right you know yeah so they're just like I'm just in love with talking to this person. So in a way, you know, you are in love, uh, but the person just do isn't personified as a, they're not in real their body. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Now, do you feel that it's possible to fall in love 
month via text. Yeah, yes and no. I think right, give that, me give me the yes first. Well, the yes is like, you know, you could be talking to someone, and just like I said, like I was just saying, like you could be talking to someone and like and they, just enjoy. their embodiment, like yeah, all that or, stuff. Or they're, they're quick, they're they're witty and like they're fun to talk to. Right. And it's like I oh man, like and if you do that over the span of whatever, and you guys have talked about you know your feelings towards one another, I can see that happening. Okay, but I do think, at least in my personal opinion. To actually fall in love with someone. Yeah. Like, I need to meet you in person and, like, feel your energy. And, like, if we still, like, get along, then it's like, oof. Yeah, I gotta, da- I gotta dap you up. Yeah. You know gotta, what I'm saying? Bring it in for a hug. Yeah, I gotta, we gotta have, like, pound it. But literally, if you go a whole year of talking mm. to someone via text and you never, like, truly see them. Mm. And then the first time you meet them, they're real. And, like, it's, it's like you haven't skipped a beat. It's the same as it is on text message. It literally would only take that one day, in my opinion, for me to be like, I, f- I fucking love this person. Like, right. it's a real, it's a real person now, and now it's just like, oh, you know. But see, I also see like, that's why like if you meet somebody on the internet, it's kind of weird to be like, like, sexting them like right off the bat, because it sets up for a word weird word a weird first encounter for people. I feel like, because if it's so like sexually charged, it's like, do you go to dinner or do you just fuck? You know what I mean? I mean, it depends what you're trying to get out of it. If I'm talking to you for a year and I say I love you. Yeah, but I don't know if that started as like, put your dick in my eye or whatever. Okay, so say it didn't. It, it didn't did. start. It started organically. Yeah. Whatever. And, and then eventually you got to sex sexting thing. and stuff like that. Yeah, but no, I, yeah, I don't see any problem with that. Now, do you expect sex on the first day that you meet them? I don't It depends how the conversation. Why are you asking me? No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't know. Do no, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think that switches case to case. I think if you really like somebody, you got to try and keep that stuff under wraps. What? Like getting super dirty. Gonna get dirty. dirty. Wanna get a little bit rowdy. Wanna get dirty. I was forgetting red. Tough on my arrival. That's my, that's my shit. Yeah. Old Christina. Talk about dirty. Talk about fucking genie in a bottle. Oh, man. <sighs> I am beautiful. That's a great song, actually. Every single way. Keep going. Words can. I got a little bit of a sore throat right now. It's all, no, I feel you. I, I was going to belt it up, then it started to hurt. Yeah, no, no, no. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I had a sore throat for about a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You don't take, like, lozenges? The fuck oh, is that? Like, halls. Like, cough drops. I drop. thought that was, like, a German beer. Oh, Ricola or some shit. No, I don't take that shit. Yeah. Should look into it if your throat's hurting. No, nah, I usually just like drink a bunch of water. Okay. This morning I woke up with a. With You're not a, a big throat. medicine man. No, I don't take any pills. When I have a really bad headache, I won't take Tylenol. I'll just write it out. Why? I don't think it's good. I'm one of those conspiracy theorists that believes that, you know, all these pills. Right. Like they'll fix this thing, but cause a different problem, so you can get a pill for that, and then that causes a different problem, so that they make more money. How do you feel about prescription medication? I'm okay with it. You think like it's like a uh, big pharma like out here like trying to like do it, or do you think it's actual actually helping people? Uh, I think it does help people, but like I said, I do think that there are certain side effects and there are yeah little things that maybe over time, if you are taking the same medicine, it could have I agree some sort of effect on you. Yeah, but I, at the same time, like I take when I need prescription drugs, I take them. Right, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, whatever, but painkillers or Tylenol or whatever. I don't, I really rarely take it. Right. Really rarely. Yeah. See, I like, can't tell you the last time I took an Advil or a Tylenol. That's like, crazy. I have no idea. Like maybe two years ago. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. And I tore my ACL as you know, yeah. I've said numerous times, but I, I never took any, anything for that either. That's wild. That's wild to me. No, because like it is though too. Like it's like you said it could cure one thing, but like cause another. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when they first like started with, like with my Lexpro, they were like, "All right, so like you're gonna s- start this, and everything that sucks right now is gonna be like times a thousand <laughs> So I was like, "Okay," and uh, they were like, "All right, so here's some things that you can have. You're like this, 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 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, uh, suicidal thoughts, this, that. I'm like, well, can we go back like three? To the one that fucking matters the most? Yeah, can we like talk about why is that going to make me want to do that? They're like, it's not, but it could. So that's why I get people's stances why they're afraid of prescription medicine. I'm not even like afraid of them. I just like, I I feel like I don't, I don't need to take this. Like, I feel like it's like an easy way out. Like if I have a headache, I'm just going to pop a Tylenol. I just think that's a bad like habit to have. So what if you're like. If I'm in really bad pain. Like a toothache. So funny you say that. Toothaches, I will 100% take it. Because those are unbearable. Yeah, they are. Or actually, you know what I do? Instead of take Tylenol, this is what I did last time I had a toothache. Because I had a root canal. Yeah. Like last year. And it hurt really bad to the point where I was on my way to the drugstore. I was on the way to like CVS and I was like crying on the way there because I was in so much pain. Ugh. But I got Orogel. This shit is the worst. I got Orogel instead of Tylenol. Oh, and just rubbed it on there? Yeah, because then it numbs everything. Hell yeah. So I'd rather have that than like take a Tylenol and like wait 30 minutes or whatever. But I, I'm not like, I'm not against them. I'm not like, you know, oh, you shouldn't like whatever. I it's Maybe it's even a pride thing of being like, I don't fucking need to take that. Right. I just think that it's a bad habit of like whenever you get a little bit of symptoms you're like oh, i'll just take this pill and it'll go away right you know like i i, I don't want to do that no it, it's def it's definitely it's definitely some that's that's a valid point though because like even like some medication that i'm on now like i'm weaning off and it's like the goal is to get off medication yeah you know at some point so like i understand like like why some people like aren't even willing to like do it yeah at the end of the day it's like a drug and maybe like someone who's listening is way more like um Educated on the topic I'm it's pretty fucking something... educated on it though No I mean like Like a pharmacist Yeah like someone yeah. who's like An actual doctor Yeah and like They obviously would know more than me But all I know is that This isn't Necessarily a natural thing We had to go out of our way To make it Right It's manufactured So Yeah I don't know I agree with your stance I don't think it, it Moves the needle either way Like I don't think If you take Tylenol When you have headaches Like it's it's gonna kill you for sure. It's just like a thing that I do. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't take them. You're just a prideful man. Yeah. You're a prideful man. I just have some... I pop some emergencies. Emergencies are great. Drink those. You don't like the raspberry flavor or you do? I mean, I've gotten used to it. Yeah. I don't like raspberry. Orange is good. Hell yeah, dude. That's like the one orange flavored thing I like. You don't like orange flavored stuff? I saw your whole fucking Skittles thing. What? How is red not your favorite Skittle? Red's mad basic, dude. Yo, but it's the best Skittle, bro. It's, no, it's better not. than the yellow Skittle. No, it's not. Would you have yellow, red, green, orange, yellow, purple? Green, yellow, green, red, orange, purple. Red was three? Yes. Now you're truly bugging. No. I think it's red, yellow, green, orange, purple. That's not that different from what I did. But it is because my one and two are different than your one and two. Just saying. You said green too. I said green three. Oh, okay. All right. People were losing. Yo, people who put purple first. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, those people had a bad childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Someone fell off a table. Yeah, and their parents only had grape shit around, so that's why. Like. By the way, grape stuff doesn't taste like grapes. Never tastes like. I'd rather it tastes like a grape. I love grapes. I love grapes. Green grapes? Pfft, you ever put grapes in the freezer? Yeah. Fantastic. Yo, grapes are so good. Yeah, I can't have them though. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Cuz they're very high in sugar. Oh. Yeah, I know. But I used to I could eat a whole bag of grapes in what? a day. <laughs> yeah, it's a little extreme. I was just talking about, you know, like a a party where there's like cheese crackers and like I hear you, I hear you. Rap, rapid fire, you ready? Oh shit Couple questions, you ready? Go How many slices of pizza could you eat in one sitting? I'm really going for it? Yes Five Okay How many Big Macs could you eat in one sitting? Two Okay How many What do you usually get at Wendy's? How many Frosties could you eat in one sitting? It would take me a while But I could probably get three down Yeah They're, they're small yeah. You could eat that. Okay. It's brain freeze. I'm yes. About. All right. How many medium McDonald's fries could you eat in one sitting? A lot. A lot? Medium fry? Yeah. A lot. You think, like, how many sleeves? Let's call them sleeves. Three? Four? Four, five. Four or five, right? So, like. I don't even know if someone could stop eating those. Yeah. Like, if there was just an abundance of them, I would pick at it all day. Because here, here's what I'm getting at. And die. <laughs> yes. Here's what I'm getting at. 
I feel like smaller foods, like appetizers, like, I feel I could eat way more of them than I could eat, like, the actual, like, dishes. Okay. Like, um, fr- like I, I, I could eat more fries than I could eat pieces of, uh, slices of pizza. Yeah, of course. But they're still, like, kind of, like, the same kind of... If you poured out a whole sleeve of fries next to a slice of pizza, they'd be, like, the same size. Yeah, but there's the cheese is more filling than fucking fries. And they also have covered in salt. Which and it's makes bread. You like, it's bread. Yeah. Yo, McDonald's fries are absolutely poison. Yeah, they're yeah, they're like liquid. You ever see them like put the salt on it? The guy takes that thing, it's just like <sighs> Yeah. You're like, whoa! It's the blizzard of salt. Like, take it easy. But yeah. also put a little more on there. Yeah. Yes. Yo, hold on. Are you are you a, a crispy fry or a or like a soft fry? Guy? Well, I'm a Burger King guy, so I'm a I'm a crispy fry. If you people like people that eat like potato wedges and they're all soggy i'm like get that fucking thing out of here soggy potato you know when you get those potatoes like the hand cut fries they call them they're mad thick yeah and they're like soggy though no i don't know they look like a diving board basically oh i know what you're talking about yeah (laughs) you know what i'm saying they're they're, they're like a canoe yeah they look like a canoe and it's like if those are soggy that's disgusting yeah but i do i do like like flimsy McDonald's fries. I do like those. Yeah, because you can grab 400 of them at once and shove them in your mouth. Yeah, my stupid fucking face. Do you eat fries one by one or do you go for it? Uh, See, the the bit, the tall ones yeah. that are like hard, I'll do one by one. But the little ones, I'll just like, I'll like machine claw it. Yeah. And like, All right. That makes sense. Yo, by the way, sweet and sour sauce? Trash. Why is that different in every fucking place? I think it's terrible. No, the one I'm bar- that- I'm barbecue all the way, man. Well, yeah, barbecue. Come on, is- let's be fucking real here. Barbecue is superior, but the the sweet and sour sauce, like you'll get it mm-hmm. at McD- uh, McDonald's, like the green one. Yeah. And it'll taste a certain way. Uh-huh. I like it. I think it's good with nuggets. Uh but they like change it sometimes, and it's like a completely taste different tasting thing. It'll be more sweet than sour, and it, sometimes more sour than sweet. They had it good when it was a green top back in the day. Yes, it was like fucking six years ago. They had a great sweet and sour. Now it's all this weird shit. I don't know if they're they're cutting back on the sugar <laughs> or if they're trying to probably, go gluten probably. free or some. You ruined it. Were you a? I'm gonna take the piece the the top completely off, or would you peel it? back i'm taking that top off I'm taking it i can't stand people that go there and they peel it just back enough so they could dip their fry in there and then they could close it again yeah what the fuck were you saving this it's disgusting it was a tupperware you're gonna disgusting. put in your fridge it's gross take this fucking top off you dumb bitch yeah fucking idiot and also when that thing would like if i go to put my fry in this thing and this little <sighs> top hits my hand now i got sweet sour sauce on my fucking hand i hate that i hate getting condiments on me while i'm eating i fucking hate it hate it I said something, thank, thankfully, that's a weird thing, but I said something weird I did last week. What? What did I say? Yeah. My butt. Remember we talked about our butts and I wiped my butt? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you, you said you had something weird. Not a lot, not as weird as that. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God we didn't forget to yeah, say yeah, this because yeah. I wanted to say it on the show. Um, but I just noticed this the other day because my sister actually texted me yesterday. Okay. And was like... Do you do you also do this thing? And I'm like, yes. And like my sister does that. You remember when I talked about the traffic light thing, where it's like when I when I pass through traffic lights, I like when I'm driving towards a traffic light. If it turns yellow, then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a bad day. Or if it turns red, then I'm like, oh, f- I'm fucked. But if I get through, and it's I don't a green remember light, that. You don't remember me saying this? No. I'm pretty sure I talked about this. I don't know. That's weird. No, yeah, it's definitely out there. You, you have like a mood ring that's ran by streetlights? Yes. That's so strange. Basically, like if I'm driving towards a traffic light and it's green, I'll be driving towards it with this thing in my head of being like, if I see yellow, then it's going to be a bad day. I don't actually like bring this into the rest of the day. It's just like a little game sort of. Right. It's a and, mini It's a mini game in your life. Yeah, it's not like it goes yellow and I'm just like, oh no. Like I, I don't care like the next block. But yeah. like it's just like a little game that I play. I'm like... If it turns yellow, then it's going to be a bad day. And even if I get through and it's green, I'll look at my rear view mirror to see if it turned yellow. Really? Yeah, it's a weird thing. And my sister does it. 
So I said this to my to my sister, and she's like, I do that too. And I was like, get the fuck out no of here. No way. She does that. I'm not buying it. So I was like, I gotta I was, ask her. I was blown away by that, right? So anyway, she texted me yesterday with this one, and I was like, yo. Ha. I'm just like blown away. So some weird Sanagato family shit. Just me and Shannon, <laughs> apparently. But so this is this is the thing. When I'm in my car and there's music playing. I won't shut my car. Like if I parked, I'm at my apartment now. Okay. I won't shut my car off until the song finishes its sentence. Then I'll shut the car off. Like I can't stop. In the Wait, like the whole, of, like the whole songs. Done? No, no, no. Like just, just that sentence. The person is currently saying, I will wait until that sentence is over and then shut the car. So it's all right. So it, it would be like, like still going bad on you anyway you could cut it then i'll shut it but if he was like still going i'm not gonna shut it right there i can't i gotta wait i gotta wait until he's done that's weird yeah that's ocd ish you want to hear something else that's really bad i have actually turned my car on again because i missed and heard the beginning really yeah but i don't do that often and like i i might not even ever do that again I might never do that again. I might not ne- never do that again, but I have I did it. That is weird. Yeah. And I, I honestly... It's not weird. Like, I get it, but it's weird. It's one of those things, though. It's not that I do... It's it's, it's not OCD because I don't do it every single okay. time. Oh, all right. I thought you did it every single time because that would make it a little obsessive compulsive. Yeah, it would. But it's only when I become aware that I'm about to do this thing. Like, if I'm okay. listening to a song and it's like, I'm just aware now... That like I'm about to do this, then I then I do it. If that makes any sense. No, it does. Like, but like, all right. Let, let's uh, let's delve into this a little deeper. Go ahead. Um. So like, are you a person who's like? Because it sounds like you have like uh, like spatial things that you deal with. So like, what I mean by that is like, if something in your apartment is like not in the right place, do you feel a strange way? Does that like knock your mood off? Yeah, but like, is it something that like, if you go to bed, say like this table was left here like this and we didn't move it to where it's like actual place was. I I could, I could go to bed, but <laughs> I would, it would really bother me. I could go to bed though. You could go to bed, yeah, but it would really bother you. Yeah, though. it would. Okay. It would really bother me. Now let me ask you that. I wouldn't be able to like fully relax knowing that my table is in the middle of my living room. Yeah. So you have like some optical, like. Like auditory type stuff. What? Like you, <laughs> auditory is like this. Yeah, I know that. So like you kind of need things to end, and be taken care of before you need things to be completed before you go to sleep. Uh, you know it's not even like that because I have, you know what I've done, like so it's it's crazy to even say this right because like what I just said, that because I feel like if this table was here, there, it would burn a hole in your heart. See, like, <laughs> being like it would, uh, it would. It would, but there's also times where, um, I'll do things like I'll eat like mm-hmm. late sometimes because I'll forget to eat. It'll be like nine o'clock, so I'll get something, I'll eat, and I'll just leave it there and go to bed. Yeah, see, I can't do that. See, but like I do that on purpose. Okay. Because it's like I I feel like a maniac if uh, not with the food. Obviously, you're supposed to clean up after yourself. Yeah, but it's it's. Like, I mean, you learn that when you're five. It's also another one of these things. It's kind of like a test where I'm like, I need to be able to like deal with shit like that because like this table being here is not like the biggest deal. My apartment's clean for the most part, besides these bags I have to take out. Right. But it's clean right now, so I'm like at ease. The way you're looking at me, you seem a little <laughs> uneased. <laughs> I'm at ease, but it being here would just be like a little thing like especially if it's the only that's the thing right if my apartment because my apartment gets super fucking messy sometimes right and like i'm cool with that i it doesn't like bother me because i'm like i know i just have to take care of this what does bother me a lot is if my entire apartment is clean and one thing's out of place then i'm like a maniac okay so that that i just figured it out what the difference is what i was trying to explain See, we're, we're peeling back uh, slices of this onion here. Yeah, exactly. Layers to this onion. So if, okay. if, if the entire place is clean and then one thing is a little fucked up, I'm like, I need to do this. But if the entire place is fucked up, then I'm like, I just, I can't handle it right now. Can you start cleaning and stop? No. I can't either. 
I can't Once even, I'm in the fucking zone, I can't even clean with someone else. Like growing up, I always shared a room with Keith. I'd be like, "Go upstairs." Yeah, I'm. I'll clean the whole room. I'll clean your shit. I just can't. I can't clean with someone else. Does Keith have, have like these weird driving ticks? Keith would live in a tree. He does not have anything. He doesn't have anything. No. How does he? He doesn't drive, does he? No. Does he have a license? No. Really? It's not that uncommon to live in New York City. You said uncommon. I don't know why I said. <laughs> I said, who's coming and who? Who? Who's getting come on? Who's getting come on? You coming on cats? Coming on cats. Um, it's not. I guess it's not that uncommon, but I feel I like... I know, like, grown-ass adults that are, like, in their 40s that don't have no, a license. No, my sister doesn't have a driver's license. She's fucking almost 30. Yeah. But he... he No. We practice driving together. No way. Yeah. Can you drive? Well, like, we were learning. How about this? You break your legs. Could he get me there? Could he get you to the hospital? I don't know. Maybe with me, like, coaching him. Really? You don't think he could do it? I also think I could, I could drive myself with a broken leg. A broken legs, motherfucker. Oh, both legs. <laughs> yes, yeah, broken yeah, legs. Nothing a little tape can't fix. I think. You're in and out of consciousness from the pain. He's got to you're, you're in shock. I love how you just <laughs> up the stakes because I'm trying to prove you wrong. Yeah. But I'm just saying, realistically, it's going to be tough to drive. I mean, you probably could, but it'd be rough. But... You need him to drive you. Could he get me there? Could he get you to the hospital? I don't I don't know. Wow. When we were I have to ask him tonight. We were learning how to drive together. My dad would take us both out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was at the time we were both like still fucking up everything. Like we were in that portion of learning yes. how to drive. So hitting it's not bra- like hitting the brake mad hard. Yeah, and shit. like yeah. I was begging my dad to take me out like every single day. And yeah. I also went out of my way. My fucking Espo, he's younger than me, and he like taught me how to drive because when my dad couldn't, I would always ask him, and he'd take me out in his car. I suppose older than you? He's younger than me. I was about to say, yeah. No, but he had his license before me. Oh, when did you get your license, you I was weirdo? Eight, I was 18. What the fuck? What? I never took driver's ed. Yo, people do weird shit out here, man. You guys don't drive. I drove at 18. I was driving at 16. Yeah, that's when usually, because you have to take driver's ed. And then you do it. You got, Would you also... You, you've lived in fucking Westchester where you probably take your driving test in like a parking lot. No, I didn't. I took it in fucking White Plains, which is a tough place to do it. Oh, yeah. Remember that? There was like, oh, there's easy places to take your driver's test. Remember well, that? in New Jersey, they have just cones set up and you got to just drive around in, in a fucking parking lot. Oh, I drove on the actual street. Yeah, so did I. But that's the Wait, thing. Wait, you just said you drove in cones. No, no, no. I said people in New Jersey do that. Oh, that's fucking weird. Yeah, there's no cars around. It's like a parking lot, and you have to not hit the cones. How do you get your motorcycle license? I see them do it all the time. You have to just drive up and down the street, and someone watches you and make a three-point turn. It's the same deal. Oh, nobody like hops on the back with you? And, like, no, it's not like, all right, go. All right, go. Slow no. down. I'm scared. Yeah, no, it's not like no, that. No, no, no. Wow, Keith can't drive. Yeah, no, can't. You know what we should do? Wait, hold on. I don't think this is this weird, too, because like I never took driver's ed. And then I just learned how to drive on my own. Yeah. And then just took the test and passed. And do I got like a perfect score. Do you think Keith would be willing to get his driver's license? No. Now it's like, he's one of those people. That would be so funny. For him to get it? For Like if we taught him how to drive. And then he we took him for his test. It would be awesome. Yeah. I'll talk to him. He's not gonna do it. Hell no. He's never gonna do it. We try. I think actually one time for his um no for his birthday, my mom got him like a driving school coupon, (laughs) like a gift card to a driving school. Never did it. You want to know why? Because he's fucking smart. Because if you get a fucking driver's license, people make you do shit. That is the worst excuse not to have a license. No, but it's true though, because it's like, oh hey, can you uh, drive and pick up the dog somewhere, or can you drive and uh, can you take this over to Joey's and uh, can you do this, take this to Shant? He's fucking smart. Now I know why he doesn't do it, because he doesn't so have dumb. to do shit. That is so dumb. And it's probably true. Oh my god. Like, what other reason is there not to get your license? Don't tell me that you don't need it. I think you need it. I think you need it. I don't think you need it. I think it's... You just said you think you need it. I'm taking it. I'm retracting. I don't think you need it, but I think that it's very good to have. Okay. And it's why a, is it good to have? Because in emergencies or you need to get If you somewhere. break your legs, you need a ride. <laughs> if I break my legs and I'm in and out of consciousness, you can drive me to the hospital. Right. 
Wow. I also feel like driving is like this is gonna sound weird, but cannot wait for this. No, no, no. It's like it's like a human right. You know what I'm saying though? No. It's yo, dude, we're so advanced that we could drive cars. Fucking do that shit. Yeah, now I understand. You know what I'm saying? You don't see fucking giraffes out here fucking driving BMWs? We make these beautiful things. Let's drive them, man. That's fucking human innovation. Let's take part in that shit. I'd rather ride a horse, to be honest with you. Yeah, you would rather ride a horse for about a week until your fucking ball sack was so purple and fucked up from riding this goddamn horse. You'd be like, get me my BMW immediately. Doesn't sound too bad because my asshole's already purple. That's true. We learned that. (laughs) You'd be like, dude, after riding a horse for a week, you'd be like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, my groin is screaming. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got to be yelling, yeah, all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 Fucking giving them sugar cubes. Damn, sugar cubes are good. Yo, you know what tastes mad? <laughs> Sorry, I'm. this is a complete... No, like, it's fine. Look, um, you know the letters that you put on birthday cakes? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Not with like, like the, the funfetti type ones. Wait, what? It's like it's like sugary, but it's like a. But it's like a. It, there's like a texture to them. Yeah, like I know. Spiky you're ta- a little I know, bit. I know what you're talking about. Those are good. Dude. Funfetti, it's called. Why is it fun? Because it's like if you throw like confetti on a cake. You ever get like confetti cake? What's on it is called funfetti. Okay. That's like what you're talking about, but it's just letters. Oh, the little like discs. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. It's yes. made out of that shit. Right. Like Neckos. Yes. Remember Neckos? Yes. Dumb candy. Yeah. Also, another dumb candy, Sweet Tarts. Oh, I like Sweet Tarts. I didn't like them. Oh, no, Warheads, I, dumb candy too. Warheads were dumb, but they were very popular. Like 1998, I was crushing Warheads. Airheads are fire, son. I'll go get an Airhead right now, dude. Dude. Airheads are so good. Fucking. Different ways to eat them, too. You can bite a piece, chew it, roll it up, fucking throw that in there. You ever do this thing? Hell yeah. You just do this until it becomes like a little ball, and you're like, look, it's like a little... F-. When we used to play baseball, we used to put them in here, because all the baseball players in the MLB used to dip. Yeah. We couldn't dip. We were fucking 10 years old. So we would do that and put, like, airheads and bubble gum in there. It's awesome. I would I, w- I would dip if they had airhead dip. Oh, fuck yeah. That'd be awesome. I'm telling you this. Airheads, one of the most underrated candies they are. of all time. They are. And I'm trying to think. Blue is my favorite. Raspberry, like the blue raspberry one. Those are good. Oh, my God. Now, nah, the watermelon ones are fire, too. Yeah, those are good, too. <laughs> Damn, yo, I want an Airhead so bad. Me, too. I want to go clear out. The, I'm like, yo, how much for this fucking box? I know. And they were like, they were so, that was a good thing, too, is because like they were candy, but it didn't feel like you were like eating gross candy. Because they lasted a while, and they were kind of thin. They yeah. looked like a tongue, kind of. Right. Like a, like a camel's. Like a dog's tongue. A dog's tongue. Or like a camel's tongue or like something. Like Charlie's tongue. Like Charlie's tongue. Exactly what they look like. Yeah. Your dog's got a crazy tongue. Yeah, it's mad skinny. Mad skinny. Um, one more quick. How are we doing over there? Uh, an hour and 42 minutes. Really? Yeah, we've been here for a while. Wow. All right. So I got, I got one last thing that I wanted to ask you, though. And this is weird. Do you think that it's bad for people to ride animals because you said about horses like yeah. i understand horses as transportation right yeah yeah but like you ever <laughs> see those fucking new york city horses oh i hate that that's so fucked up and then like when people go on vacation and ride elephants and shit like why are you, why are you riding an elephant i want to ride an elephant i do too but like a part of me would be like why though this elephant wasn't made to ride <sighs> George of the Jungle rode that bitch. Yeah, that was the make believe. That's true. Um, do you think? Do you think it's fucked up to ride them? Yeah, but I'd do it once. Oh, I would yeah. play my you know card real quick. I do too. Yeah, I would. like I would be like I would ride. Like here's what I would do. Okay, I'd be like, yo, this is fucked up, but I did it. In a perfect world, I would free like a thousand elephants from captivity, and ride one of them out. Yeah. Of captivity. Yes. So that I'm doing a good thing, but I'm also getting what I want here. Yeah. But I want to ride an elephant. But yeah, it's fucked up, man. It is. It, it is right. Yeah, because those horses aren't, you know, meant to wear those fucking stupid hats and like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like those big baskets. Yeah, like I'm those carrying big seat baskets. I got these fucking Norwegians in the back over here. Yeah. This guy with the weird suit on is like 
keeps making me go faster or slower on down Park Avenue. I got to shit on the ground. Like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I got to dodge taxis and shit. Yeah. It's going to take you 45 minutes to get anywhere. Fuck I just want to free these. these. Uh, let them run. And it's expensive as fuck. Yeah. Put those fucking horses on a pasture or whatever the fuck. A grassland or some shit. Yeah. Savannah's. I don't even know. Plateau. I'm just naming a bunch of and shit. And that's like another thing too. Like what the fuck are like horse cops? Yeah, bro. Who are you catching? Bro? Come on, yo. Yo, if I stole something and a guy, a horse cop is coming after me. Yeah. I'm I'm safe. <laughs> Literally, I'm running this way, and then when the horse starts running, I just turn around and go the other way. Yeah, dude, your job is to, like walk I, around and like take pictures. Have you ever? That's, seen, that's all they do. Have you ever seen a horse stop on a dime and change direction like fucking Adrian Peterson? No, 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 I've not. I could juke a horse like you would not believe. Like I have no idea why cops still are, are on horses. If somebody could tell me, those Canadian cops, guys. First of all, you guys look like the leader of a marching band. Yes, and you're on horses. <laughs> We're all laughing at you. Get some cars. Get off the get off the horse. Get in a car, like a normal person. And and just you know, make sure the law is going good or I, whatever. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I fucking agree. Yeah, man. You got some weird shit. Yeah, that was a whole fucking. That was a whole lot of shit just now. That episode is on the spectrum of everything. Yeah, there was there was a lot covered. That was a good episode though. I like. I, it. I think we needed that. You I know think, what? I, I gotta do some shout outs. Patreon real quick. Oh yeah. Got some people I want to shout out our our uh our patrons here. Fuck yeah. Just wanted to shout you guys out because you know you guys are, are crushing it and, and helping support the show. So I want to give some shout outs at the end of every show that I remember to do it. Starting with these people right now. Oh Jesus. Ugh. Sarah Cadman, Ashley Marie. That was two names, not one name. I was about to say, that was like, that's a long ass name. name. Like, God damn, how many times did you get married? Uh, Sean Ford, Zachary Horn, fire. Zach Horn. Uh, Justin Allen, white guy. Libby Nuss. Rapper? Maybe. Taylor Johnson, very white. Yes. Lavinia. Can't get a read on it. That's very exotic. Sage of the Six Paths. I'm scared to make a joke. Uh, <laughs> Haley Silvernail, white picket fence. Yeah. Uh, Nick Jackstat. Jack, Jack stat? I don't know. I fucked that up probably. Daniel Gerardo, normal guy. Uh, Jennifer Brown, teacher. Nancy Martinez, secretary. Talia DePose. <laughs> Why we got to be secretaries, dog? You can be teachers too. Who? Martinez? I had a Miss Martinez growing up, so that just went straight there. Yo, we could teach, yo. Tori Can- Canistaro. Shannon Wool. <laughs> Whoa. Joseph Austin Doyle, three names, very rich. Karina Dennis, uh, <laughs> J- Josh Castle, Nicholas Gresh, and Sandrine Andre. Sandrine Andre, wow. Fire. Thank Good. you to all of our patrons. You guys are supporting the show. It is helping us like you would not believe. So thank you. Uh, if you want to sign up to the Patreon, there's some cool stuff that you get there. It's patreon.com slash the basement yard. We appreciate it. Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Lopiori on Twitter and Instagram. You guys can follow me on social media at Joe Sanagato. Go follow the show on Instagram at The Base Meow. We post a bunch of clips on there and, you know, other shit. Sometimes we'll go live on it and whatnot. So go follow at The Basement Yard. Check it out. <laughs>